Last year, I made a video about Oregon's recent congressional redistricting and how much it reflected Oregon's natural demographics or whether it was a political gerrymander. I didn't really come to a single conclusion on the issue, but there is a relevant update. If Oregon Democrats were trying to create a gerrymander with the 5th District, they weren't trying hard enough. Because just recently, the race was called for the Republican candidate, Lori Chavez Dreamer, against the Democratic candidate, Jamie McLeod Skinner. The race was narrow and took almost a week before it was called, by a margin of around 2.6%, or less than 10,000 total votes. But how did we get here? This story has some twists and turns along the way. Before the 2020 census and redistricting, the 5th Congressional District included the Mid-Willamette Valley centered on Salem and extended out to the coast. After redistricting, the western part of the district was split off and combined with some other areas, forming the new 6th District. For 14 years, the district has been represented by Kurt Schrader from Canby in ex-urban Clackamas County. Kurt Schrader is one of the most conservative Democrats in Congress. In May of 2022, Jamie McLeod Skinner ran against him from the left and with a voting base of progressives in the Portland area and Bend, won the primary. In the general election, the polling was close, but it ended with a victory for Lori Chavez Dreamer, the mayor of the Portland suburb of Happy Valley. So what happened in the race? We can look at county by county returns. As expected, the small part of the district that was in Multnomah County voted strongly for McLeod Skinner. So did Deschutes County, home of the resort town of Bend. Clackamas County itself, which has the single largest population in the district, also voted for McLeod Skinner, but by a much narrower margin. Interestingly, the part of the district in Jefferson County voted for her as well. 100% of the voters, all three of them. But when we get to the portions of Marion and Lynn County in the district, Chavez de Reamer won by a very high margin, around 2 to 1. In general, I think that many people, both in the Democratic Party and the media, thought of the district mostly in terms of the population centers of the Portland area and Bend, and dismissed that much or even most of the district was in exurban and rural areas across Clackamas, Marion, and Lynn counties. A case of, as the meme goes, my friends in Zoidberg. The progressives who wanted to unseat Schrader thought, correctly, that he was too conservative for urban progressive voters, but might not have done the math on how much of the vote was in Lynn, Marion, and Clackamas counties. It also reminds me of another relevant quip. As we learned from David S. Pumpkins, they can't all be winners. I think that some Portlanders thought that because it had a Democratic congressperson, that the district was essentially as progressive as, for example, Earl Blumenhauer's district in Portland. That a district that covers suburban, exurban, and rural areas might just naturally have a different constituency than central Portland is something that I think everyone should consider. And it never hurts to actually visit some of the more out-of-the-way parts of the district. And most of Lynn County, where I am now, is in the 5th district, which is kind of an odd district. It includes parts of Portland, um, Canby, Oregon City, um, some of Marion County, Albany, and then Bend. But a portion of Lynn County, where I am now, was included with the 4th district. And this road here is the dividing line. Part of the problem is that red and blue have been so baked into political discussions that many people see congressional districts as just squares on a chessboard, absolutely tied to one party or the other, and basically interchangeable. The fact that districts have very different demographics and political leanings is something that seems to have been forgotten by many. This is important to remember also when the political situation is so finely balanced. The balance of the Congress seems to be decided this year by just a few seats. Of course, we can't know how Schrader would have done as a candidate. But one thing I do know is that it is always a good idea to know about what communities really look like and not to treat them as purely abstractions quantified by a partisan voting index.